you guys see my friend we call him Elroy and then he always goes back on the cabin channel so I don't know if I've shown y'all but these are our front this is our front garden and right here we have some cayenne peppers we didn't start most of our stuff from seed this year we have cayennes we have some srirachas and we have a good bit of those now as you can tell and then we have reapers and right now we do not have any flat oh, actually we do see that one little flower back right there right there and then we have some banana peppers i had one today and i thought it was gonna be spicy but it was not Hey everyone, it's Kendall. So I just wanted to show y'all, um, I'm not sure if I really showed y'all our front garden. You can see some of it right now. Everything is basically in raised beds or buckets, but then there's our little tilled portion. So I wanted to show y'all that. I've never grown sunflowers before and I put some sunflower seeds out at my mailbox and I was not really expecting them to make some, I don't know. Just sometimes I'm like, oh, it's not gonna work. But then that's the thing about being a gardener. It's just like, just do it. There's Selena. Hi. <laughs> but I wanted to show y'all the sunflowers because I did not think, so I didn't, I don't know if they were really gonna make it, but I wanna show y'all them because it's pretty cool that we are gonna have our own sunflowers. So I do not remember the variety. I'll have to pick them. Oh, I'll have to find the package, but it's really cool to see. And these are, I think these are the ones that they said they'll be like six or seven feet tall so it's going to be very interesting to see how these are going to be but now that i'm over here i want to show y'all a little bit more of other sunflowers so i started these sunflowers um and you can see how many were in there and there were more in there but i decided i wanted to try to propagate these and it didn't really work out but these i think they're only supposed to get about four or five feet tall and you can see that we're starting to have little tiny 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 flowers trying to form but I know what they're in right here it might not be ideal but maybe it'll kind of work to my advantage I'm not sure and then here are our potatoes my husband purchased grow bags from Amazon and I think these potatoes are Yukon gold or gold potatoes but eventually i guess whenever they get down there we'll be able to see them um but he just purchased these this summer well in the spring and that's those and then we have another ghost pepper a pepper that i did not label so that's my fault we have a peter pepper they're all the same and lots of other peppers. If that is the same, these right here. Okay, you think those are poblanos? Yeah. Okay. And then, and then one thing that I think is pretty cool is last year, whenever the whole pandemic started, a lot of people really did get into gardening. And I ended up having a lot of extra tomatoes, peppers, um, I think even corn at some point that had started. So I posted on our Facebook neighborhood page and said like, hey, I have these. If anyone wants some, you can, you know, just come pick them up. They're started, all you gotta do is put them in the ground, yada, yada, yada. Well, a lady that came and got some stuff for me, she ended up bringing me some seeds and she brought me some black pearl pepper seeds. I had no idea what, the, what, what they were, but it, the plant literally grows up and it looks, it's like a blackish green, almost like a, I'll show you all in a second. We have, a, we're growing black Hungarian peppers that I um, got from Baker's Creek. But the leaves will kind of have, um, I guess in a way it can be variegated. It's kind of black and it's kind of green, but that's how it grows. And it 
sometimes even looks like a deep purple. Well, it's called black pearl because the peppers literally look like little pearls and they're green at first and then they turn black. And you would think something that is the size of a pearl would not be very spicy, but it is hotter than a jalapeno, but they're very good. So a, about a week or two ago, I was in the garden and we have a volunteer tomato plant right now. I'm not sure what kind it is yet, but then I was walking around and right under my cattle, cattle panels, I saw something and I was like, oh, this isn't a weed. This is something different. And I could, I could easily tell that, okay, the type of color this is, it looks like a black pearl pepper. So I pulled it out, put it in a little, um, in a flower pot. And then I told my husband, I went and picked it up when he got home and I said, what does this look like? And he was even, that looks like a black pearl pepper. But, and I actually had already started some seeds of those and for some reason it didn't work out this year. But what's really nice is I have one and I know it looks super, super, super small right now, but you can see the colors of that how it's black and green and yeah it's super tiny right now but that was the other thing last year when i grew these they were super tiny it didn't grow very fast but then once it grew it it took off so another thing that is in our front garden my husband and i went to ellis and we purchased some mint i got some chamomile it might be too small for this to be in here but you know, I would be the only one that ends up using flowers to drink. And then we ended up getting some lavender. I don't remember exactly what kind this is, but we ended up getting that. And then we have our blackberries. Delicious. You can see all of these starting up. Fingers crossed, we will be able to eat some of these if the birds stay away. <laughs> but I'm trying, that was another reason why I wanted to do um, sunflowers because the sunflower seeds and the birds will try to eat that, hopefully, instead of our berries and everything else. And then we have this little guy that is also a blackberry plant. Um, it didn't quite make it. And my husband was like, no, let's make this work. And he put a bunch of our rabbit poop in there and it spunked up just a little bit, but I'm not too sure if it's dead or not. Don't do that, Selena. What if it breaks it <laughs> up? And yeah. Okay, and you saw that our, our potato set up. We also have sweet potatoes. We have it in here. Um, this is probably about a, those are five gallon buckets. These buckets with the blackberries are about 30. So I'm assuming this one might be about 20. But this is a sweet potato. I actually had a sweet potato last year that I had bought from the grocery store. And you know how you leave them? And I actually have my hanging basket above my kitchen sink and the sun will shine through towards the end of the day. Well, you know how if you have it like that, eventually sometimes the potatoes will have the little sprouts. Well, this is what happened with this. So then I went and decided to cut it in half and put it in water, you know, did, did the water every few days. And then I ended up having fruits. Well, in order to grow sweet potatoes, at least what I've learn from is that you're supposed to have like a root system already so I ended up doing that and then these were put out here a week or two ago and that's what they're looking like right now so I'm hoping that I can get a good bit this time around last year I only got one but it was last year was just an experiment so it was pretty cool and then we are growing some I hear the robins going crazy. We are growing some patty pan squash for the first time. Oh. And we have some little guys going on right now. I can see that one. It's like, so this will be exciting also. And I've, we've, we've never had patty pan squash. So this will be a first time for us. And then I already showed you all the peppers. That's most of everything. And I'll show you our beans that we have now. So in the rest of our front garden, my husband tilled in, well, tilled, and then he ended up putting some pole beans right here. When he gets more mulch, um, a bush bean, and then I think a bush pea right there. And we're also gonna end up putting some pole beans in the backyard, but that's why this cattle panel is right here. Cause you can see that one, that's, this is a pole bean. And eventually that's gonna get tall enough 
and vining and then we'll be able to hook it right there up to the cattle panel and it'll climb all the way up but now also I wanted to show you all the stuff that we still have in pots that are in the front yard and I still have a buttload of stuff that's in the backyard too I'm very behind on my gardening like I told y'all but I have some ground cherries and thankfully the root it's not rooted yet um, but I have some ground cherries you can see these and they are still in the pot and I'm starting to get some little flowers but I was very surprised that they're not root bound yet so they're fine right now but they are starting to have some flowers and a little bit of husk and then I have you can see these are my black Hungarian peppers I have a buttload of black Hungarian peppers <laughs> um, and I have not a peanut. Okay, this is a not a peanut pepper. I ended up getting a not a peanut pepper because uh, Jessica Rhodes at Roots and Refuge talked so much about it. So most of all these right here are peppers, and then I bought these two. Those are supposed to be kind of like milkweed, and I got those specifically for butterflies. So we'll see what happens with those. But but I kind of just wanted to show you all a little bit of our front garden and just how cool it is to me that we're able to grow our own sunflowers in the front yard. I also put some at kind of the front window in the front door. And those are the ones that I ended up propagating from here. And then that was when I ended up learning about the root system for sunflowers. And the second I planted those in the ground, they wilted so much within less than a minute. And I was like, oh, I made a mistake. And I really thought I killed them, but then I watered them that night and they started to spunk up. So. We're starting to get some little, not as much as what you saw in the mailbox, but those are also different sunflowers. I'm talking about these kind, um, but I think I think they'll do good if anything. But I just really wanted to show you all some of the stuff that we have in the front yard. Hopefully, if this rain chills out, we can have our backyard planted. But at this point, honestly, I'm thinking about just laying a crap load of cardboard down and bringing in some soil because this rain's not gonna let up. It's supposed to rain. Um, I'd have to look again, but I think it's supposed to rain like Saturday or Sunday and it's for a, oh, Sunday. a Sunday. Sunday, but it's supposed to be for like a week straight again and it's heavy and our backyard floods pretty bad and we pump. pump it out and everything, but it's still, it's, it gets pretty bad. And I know eventually in the summer we'll end up having it to where, you know, we'll have those droughts. We'll have to water the grass and this and this is this, but it's still a lot. So I just want to tell you guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and happy, at least for me, Friday or yeah, Friday Eve. Uh, I'll be working tomorrow, of course, my normal stuff. Girls will have school, husband's gonna work, and then hopefully we can get some stuff over the stuff done over the weekend. And I plan on going to a local, semi-local farm. It's called Ed Lester Farms. It's in Cachetta, Louisiana. It's about 45 minutes to an hour away from me. I really want to try to go this weekend just to get a few things. They'll have peaches and carrots and all that. And it'd be really cool to shoot a video so y'all can see like what's kind of around me. But theirs is more of market farming, market farming, I believe. So just look forward to possibly me doing a video of that. If not this weekend, I might do it a different weekend, especially if it's raining. So you guys have a great night. Uh, me and Selena, thank you and bye.